As of April 16, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 1,991,562 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally with 130,885 deaths. There are now 707,121 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. As of April 17, 2020, St. Lucia has on record a total of 15 confirmed cases of COVID-19, 11 of whom had recovered. On Thursday, April 16, 2020, the test results for 25 samples of COVID-19 were received and they were all negative. Today, Friday, April 17, 2020, St. Lucia continues the partial shutdown and 10-hour curfew which spans the time period from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. daily. This forms part of the national effort to protect public health as St. Lucia is still at a very critical stage in the response to the COVID-19 threat. We need to all remain vigilant and be guided that the threat of COVID-19 to our nation's health is real and still exists and to act accordingly. As the Ministry of Health continues to respond to the global pandemic of COVID-19, the national health care system has been adapted to allow for a more robust response to COVID-19. As such, new pathways to care have been created and the public is asked to utilize these as required to access care. The 311 hotline is available to provide general information of COVID-19 and access points of care and support. The 311 service is available seven days a week and function from 7 a.m. to midnight daily. A review of the utilization of the services of this hotline indicates that 90% of the calls offer guidance and linkage to available services for the management of signs and symptoms of the virus. This has resulted in onward transfer of these clients to our telemedicine services and to our community respiratory clinics. The telemedicine services are delivered by physicians via mobile phones to allow for the delivery of telephone triaging of persons who are experiencing flu-like symptoms and require an initial level of assessment and direction to points of care. The numbers of these physicians have been made available via various media houses and official social media platforms, including the social media sites of the Ministry of Health and the Government of St. Lucia. Persons with flu-like symptoms can access care at their closest respiratory clinics. The five existing respiratory clinics are the Groselet Polyclinic, the Leclerc Wellness Center, the Denry Hospital, the Viewfort Wellness Center, and the Souffre Hospital. The services at the Denry and Souffre Hospital and the Leclerc and Viewfort Wellness Centers are available daily from Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Groselet Polyclinic is available daily from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily, including the weekends. The respiratory clinic services are also available at the Victoria Hospital and the St. Jude Hospital. And these can be utilized by persons with respiratory issues, but requiring care outside of the normal hours of operations at the clinics within the community. All respiratory cases coming into the hospital facilities will be screened and redirected for care and services as required. All of these services to support the management of the COVID-19 is provided to the user at no cost. The Ministry of Health, we encourage all persons who deem themselves to be in need of any of these services to access them in a timely manner to minimize any possibility of risks related to COVID-19. We continue to advise the public to adhere to the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. And these include regular hand washing with soap and water and the use of alcohol-based hand sanitizers where soap and water may not be available. Also to cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing and throw away the tissue that is used. You also advise to avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing and to seek medical attention if you are having respiratory signs and symptoms and share any travel history or contact with someone who may be a COVID-19 case with your healthcare provider. The Ministry of Health, we will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.